what is the 18th term of an AP if its 42nd term is 128 and 28th term is 30? There are two approaches to solving this question. One is a textbook approach. And the second one is an approach which is modifying the textbook method. What we'll do in this video is we'll look at the modified approach, which is a quicker way of solving it. In the slide pack, I've provided you with both the approaches, the textbook approach and the modified one. Let's get started here. The data given to us is we know that the 42nd term of the sequence is equal to 128. The 28th term of the sequence is equal to 30. What we need to find out is what is the 18th term? Between the 42nd term and the 41st term, if I subtract the 41st term from the 42nd term, how many common differences will we get? There is one common difference between these two. So it's going to be a D. So between an A42 and an A40, how many common differences are likely to be there? A42 to A41 is one common difference. 41 to 40 is another common difference. So you're going to be seeing two common differences between A42 and an A40. So just extrapolated between A42 and a A28, how many common differences will be there? 42 minus 40 is a 2, so 2 common differences. 42 minus 28 is a 14, so you will see 14 common differences between the 42nd and the 28th term. How much is the 42nd term? 42nd term is a 128. What is the 28th term? Which is equal to a 30. This is equal to 14 common differences. The crux of this alternative method is basically not writing this in the traditional formula a1 plus 41d, a1 plus 27d. It basically distills those two steps into one single step. We are computing how many common differences will exist between any two given terms of an arithmetic sequence. For example, if someone gave us the fifth term and the 40th term, how many common differences will be there between these two terms? there'll be 35 common differences between these two terms. So that's the idea which we're using. Now we know 14 common differences is equal to a 98. So how much is each common difference? Each common difference is 98 divided by 14, which is equal to seven. Now let's find out what we have to find out. We need to find the 18th term. We know the 28th and the 42nd term. Let's use this 28th term. How many common differences will be there between the 18th and the 28th term? There'll be 10 common differences. So the 18th term has to be nothing but the 28th term minus 10 times a common difference. 28th term is a 30. The common difference is equal to 7. 30 minus 10 into 7 will give us a value of the 18th term. 30 minus 70 minus 40 is the answer. Quickly see it in a printed form. Between the 42nd and 28th term, how many common differences? There are 14 common differences. Let's plug in values for both these things which is a 128 minus 30, which is equal to 98. Each common difference, therefore, is equal to 7. We need to find out the 18th term. So let's ask how many common differences exist between the 28th and the 18th term, because we know the value for the 28th term. There'll be 10 such common differences. So the 18th term is nothing but the 28th term minus 10 times the common difference. Plug in the value for this and the value of D. So it will result in the 18th term being a minus 40. Note one thing. Any term of the sequence can be a negative number because these are all in an arithmetic progression. If we started with a 2, the first term is a 2. We might have as well started with a minus 10. The first term is going to be a minus 10 and there will be terms which could be negative. So because you see a negative number, don't think your answer might be incorrect. Check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to the channel. What's more, let's make scoring Q51 GMAT a reality. Sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable online GMAT quant course at gmat.vizaco.com. That's again, gmat.vizaco.com.